Okay, so this is a series of webinars that we're going to do about microbiology for the FRCM primary. Now, our experience of the microbiology content has been that it's popular for the examiners. It lends itself readily to MCQ type questions. There's lots and lots of content. And so it's very easy to write questions around microbiology. If we look at the curriculum for microbiology, it's divided into two main chunks. Principles of microbiology, because the spleen is very important in dealing with capsulated organisms. If you haven't got a spleen, you're even more vulnerable. So gut bacteria are the source of infection when it comes to many gram-negative sepsis cases. So patients who are immunosuppressed. In case you ever want to find out about current advice on immunizations, this is what's known as the green book. So what is required. So first of all, poor little babies at two months of age, about eight weeks, they get this lot. And then after that, the curriculum gets into specific pathogen groups. And that's a long list of different organisms and the diseases that are associated with them. Protein should be less than 0.4 grams per litre and the sugar content should be in normal CSF is about two thirds of what it is in the serum. So here's the whole, the virus particle. It has a surface, which has a surface antigen. So I'm going to leave hepatitis now and move on to bacteria. So just first of all about the bacteria itself. Uh, it's a very slow growing bacteria TB, whereas many bacteria multiply in about 20 minutes. Because it's good to understand a bit about influenza because it make, helps to make sense of the vaccination and uh, of the whole issue about epidemics and that pilus penetrates the other bacteria. And then you get this process, which we can see in number three here, where the DNA is, is copied by a DNA polymerase. But there are a whole long list of other drugs where there's significant public health risk.